Welcome everyone to Louisville, Kentucky, and we may be in the bluegrass state, but blue is the color to avoid if you love the homestanding Louisville Cardinals. Today, a clash between a couple of ACC rivals in a game that could have big-time implications for the rest of the season. As we'll see, the winners of four straight, the SMU Mustangs, taking on the 18th-ranked team in the land, the Louisville Cardinal. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. And the Mustangs will kick it away first. And they thought about a return, then thought better of it. They'll bring it out to the 25. So the Louisville Cardinals offense will start this game off. And this wide receiver, he's the linchpin to the offense. They want to make sure they find a multitude of ways to get him the football. And it's a risk-reward scenario on defense when you're trying to cover this guy, Reese, because you play man coverage, you risk him running by you and catching deep balls, you play too much zone, and then he can hurt you after the catch. A lot of different ways that this guy is very dangerous. It's a reverse. Tackle is made after the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. From the gun, the running back looking for room. Just sort of a relentless run, getting everything that was available to him, and they'll mark him down at the 40. Looking for a gap, it's Turner. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Offense breaks the huddle, it's third down. Now the play fake. Fires to the wideout. He's got it. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. After taking another look just to confirm everything, the officials on the field got it right. The play will stand. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. The last play was a near disaster. Now dealing with second and 13. Dropping back, it's Shuck. Throws to the wideout. He is lucky to get that one back, and the last thing you want is to turn it over on your opening drive. On third and long, you'll have to turn it loose deep. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. The Cardinals send out the punt unit. First punt of the day, and he'd love to lock them up close to their goal line. And the return man will have no chance as the ball sails out of bounds. The Mustangs offense will try to get something going with their first possession. When a guy gets off the ball as quickly as he does, you know he's going to be breathing down your neck, and you've got to get rid of it, Jesse. This quarterback's good, but he better have a clock going off in his head. He knows he's not going to have a lot of time to get rid of the football. It's a big matchup in this game. Well, and that's what I love about this guy, because he affects the quarterback whether he gets to him or not. He knows he's there. He's that kind of good coming off the edge. Let's see how this QB performs under pressure. Unloads to the wideout. And you just don't expect your junior quarterback to get fooled and to throw it into double coverage like that. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. Nice defensive play to get a hand in there and knock it away. The Mustangs will punt it away on fourth down. Boots his first of the day away. He was called on four times in the victory last week. He'll put a stop to that return as he gets it up to the 41-yard line. Louisville has it back in the offense, coming out ready to attack. He'll come out throwing on first down. Just a short pass to the tight end. They make the stop right there. Good pickup, but still short of the first down. Still some work to do after that last completion at second down. Making sure they have good balance, keeping it on the ground. Tackled at the 45 after the five-yard play. It's enough for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They're going to go right back to him on first down. You want to talk about light on your feet. Man, can he get through there. He's down to the 37. Got eight on first down. Now looking at a second and two. Back to throw. It's shot. Got rid of it quickly, but it's incomplete. Couldn't pick it up on second down. Now they need a couple on third down. 
They'll try to get the first through the air. Got it in the middle, it's Johnson. And oh, he was off to the races after the catch, and they finally drag him down. And the Cardinals had this offense rolling. Trying to find his man on first down. Under pressure, and down he goes at the 33. Just a great job defensively, making him go through his progressions, and he really didn't have time to do it. And that's exactly what you do in zone coverage. You drop in your spots, you read the quarterback's eyes, make sure you take away that quick stuff, and a great job rushing the passer and getting the sack. So now on second and long, you start to think, just don't fall out of field goal range. Now on the counter. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Seventh play of the drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Throws for the tight end. And that'll be incomplete. They certainly weren't afraid to take a shot there, and now it's fourth down. It's wise not to be too greedy, and they'll go ahead and send out the field goal unit. That is no good. And the score will stay right where it is after that miss. The Mustangs have the ball back and ready to go to work. Last time, David, it was 1-2-3 kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot. And you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable, that last drive. they got to do something here to get this defense on their heels. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. They made third down offense a key. It'll be tested on third and long from the 28. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. And the Mustangs will line up to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Here's the fair catch, and he'll make it close to the 20-yard line. And the offense out on the field to go back to work. The hand to the running back. Just what they were looking for to get this drive rolling there out to the 35. Let's see how they set the tone on first and 10. On the ground, it's Turner. Still on his feet at the 45. He showed it all there. A little elusiveness, a little power, and he's got the first down. They'll try the run. Not a whole lot of progress made there on the short run after picking up a couple at second and eight. Softened him up with a run, now to throw. Ball in the air, intercepted! And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. QBs have to understand, when I'm throwing against zones, I gotta manipulate guys with my eyes. I might have to look one direction to create an opening to throw that ball or zip that ball in. I gotta use touch. It's really hard when all eyes are on me, and you could tell the quarterback was not ready and did not make a good throw. The SMU offense is headed back onto the field. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. They just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. Here on third down for this offense. To the ground with the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. The Mustangs will send out the punt unit. Able to keep them from getting a return, and the ball goes out of bounds. They're going to mark it right around the 20. Out comes the offense as they get set to take over. Looking to go up top on first down. They've got the screen set up. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. Ball start. Ball start. Ball start. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. The offense set for a first down play. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. 
They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. It's been a defensive battle through the first period, and the stats tell that tale. Sometimes you see the offenses sort of settle in, find areas to probe after that first quarter. Back to pass, it's shot. Zings it complete to the right. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. You complete some of these hitch throws early, you're setting up the hitch and go. Later on, you can pump fake that, and then the receiver can pirouette right up the sideline. That might be a home run play for the offense. Not the most productive half for this offense so far, but finally starting to get it in gear. First and ten. Handoff to the single running back. At the 45 on his way. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. The Cardinals come to the line with a new set of downs. They go to the ground. You'll take this every time. Five yards on the first down play. After the run, second and medium. Finds his tight end. And this one will be stopped for no gain. Lining up to convert third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Had to throw it before he wanted. And he needed a little bit wider field as that one falls out of bounds. And for the second time tonight, they'll trot out the field goal kicker. Oh, the attempt is no good. And after the miss, guys, the score stays right where it is. The Mustangs have the ball back and ready to go to work. Their drive chart is starting to look a little monotonous. Punt, 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 David. And their defense is starting to get a little frustrated, too. They just keep putting me back on the field, possession after possession. Jesse, this offense needs to get their heads out of there, you know what. The punter's on the sideline with the oxygen mask right now. He's been playing so much. He's not used to this. This offense, they just got to stay on the field. They got to put a drive together and get some balance going, running and throwing the ball. On third and short, they'll ride the running back here. That'll be enough for the first down, and they'll mark it at the 48. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Scanning the field, it's Stone. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. The give from the gun. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. They've got the ball at midfield, but they're facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. He's going to fire deep. And the ball is picked off. And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. Most defenses are lucky if you have one good cover and corner. Fewer are lucky if you have two. They've got three DBs, three corners that can play at the same time in their nickel package that they feel can go mano a mano with anyone in the country. And you saw it on that last play coming away with the pick. The Louisville offense is headed back out on the field. We talk about settling for points, but sometimes when you have to settle for nothing, David, it can be demoralizing. Yeah, and it can definitely be fun. And that pressure just engulfed him. A sack for this defense. Oftentimes with play action, you're asking the quarterback to hold on to the ball a bit longer, and you're asking this offensive line to hold up and pass pro a bit longer. Against this athletic front seven on defense, it's going to be tough. First down sack, pushes it back. Now it's second down. Now they'll run the draw. 
Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Let's see what call they have on third and long from the 28. He's looking downfield to throw. Fires to the wideout. And a missed opportunity on third down as the defense knocks it free and fourth down is coming up. A high kick trying to pin them deep. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. The SMU offense is headed back onto the field. Boy, they hope this next drive is more productive after throwing a pick last time, Jesse. Yeah, and the coaches did a good job on the sideline there, just talking to the young quarterback and making sure he's able to turn the page, calm him down, to go out and refocus this drive. Yeah, and some people do that better than others, but you got to show some trust in him, maybe get the ground game going, help around him a little bit with this system. Give to the running back. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. They'll put the tight end in motion. The gift to the back. Able to pick his way forward for a decent game before the defense gets him down. After the strong run on second down, third down coming. Do they do it again? Oh, they really could have used that catch. Their physical pass defense, it brings up a fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. The completion well past the sticks. And not much of a fourth down gamble when it's that much of a sure thing, an easy conversion for this offense. He wants to throw. Get it out on the screen. They make the stop, but a good pickup there on first down. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Back to the air one more time. And the pass is incomplete. Charge loose by the hit. Tight quarters deep in the red zone, but they can't pick up a first down without scoring. Third down. He wants it all. It's incomplete. He was shooting for the end zone right there. It's fourth down, and they'll try the field goal. The field goal is no good. Kicker couldn't quite get it through, and the scoreboard remains the same. Louisville has it back in the offense, coming out ready to attack. A quick pass to the left. On the move at the 30. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throw and catch. Running back searching for a hole. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Couldn't get him blocked on that last one. Now it's second and 14. Give to the running back. Good, solid tackle. Lining up, trying to convert this third and short from the 40. Off the play fake. Looking to the big tight end. Working that left side. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. They'll run it out of the shotgun. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see what the call is. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. Caught over the middle. It's Brooks. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. Love to see the fearlessness of a quarterback to work the middle of the field. And he's got so much confidence in his own arm talent to be able to get that football there before the defense can break it up. So close to that end zone. He could almost taste it, but it'll be first and goal for this offense. Looking for a man. It's shot. Fires to the end zone. And it's caught! Touchdown, Louisville! And I just love the execution by this offense. Late in the half, man, you want to take the lead. You want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish.
finish it with the passing game. And tell you what, keep that passing game up. You can keep this lead, keep the momentum, and keep putting up numbers. The AT unit on the field. And with the extra point, they get the first seven of the game. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. Cal is ahead in this one, but unlike the days of Aaron Rodgers, this has not been a blowout today in Berkeley. They are up by seven over Miami. Wasting no time throwing on this drive. Fires to the tight end. Just another week of college football where we've come to expect the unexpected. Fellas, thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. Snagged in the middle. It's Hudson. And the big game. And they've got it on the 46. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. Can't hang on, and he'll tell you he really should have made that catch, and he had an opportunity right in the middle. It'll be second down. He's looking to throw. Dumps it to the back. This time, it's complete. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. And the Mustangs have it with a first and ten. From the red zone, looking for a space. And the timing just a hair off. They'll spread the defense out, going five wide on second and ten. Looking to pass, it's Stone. He's got him this time. They'll get it down to the eight-yard line on that throw and catch, and the defense is backed up against the wall. Here's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. He's going to look for a man on third and short. He caught it. Works his way to the four-yard line, and they'll have it first and goal. Clock stops momentarily for the first down. They'll hurry to the line. And that's just a flat misfire, not even close to his receiver. They'll give it another shot on second and goal from the four. He's looking to throw. Can't make the grab as he was going for six right there. Now, they missed a field goal on the last drive, but you need to get points here, so they need to pick up some yardage to at least get in range for their kicker. And that one's going to be over everybody's head and incomplete. And they'll send the field goal team back out for the second time tonight. From the left hash, and this distance ought to make that angle pretty easy to handle. Oh, and he missed it. No good. After that miss, still a seven-point game, guys. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. Here's the handoff. That may not look like a huge run, but they'll take it as it gets them up to the 24. No surprise. Looks as if they'll be content just to head to the locker room. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Guys, who's had a better seat there in Louisville for a fun first half than you? And the story of the half has been that elite corner. We were told he was tough to throw against. He's basically taken away an entire side of the field when he's out there, causing turnovers and getting physical. How often do we say that about lockdown guys? And how this offense schemes against him in this second half will be fun to watch. And with that, let's send it back to the fellas at Ellen and Federal Credit Union Stadium. The Mustangs will try to kick this one deep to get things underway in the second half. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. The Mustangs have the ball back and ready to go to work. And in a low-scoring game like this one, David, every possession is magnified. And I think more than anything, it just gets frustrating. And you got to put that behind you. you got to see what this defense has been doing to be so successful. Caller, now use it against them. Yeah, David, I think for a play caller, this is tough, right? It's like you have to have the perfect play on just to get a first down. In these types of games, I think you're just trying to get guys out in space, see if a dude can break a tackle. Maybe that generates an explosive play, and it breaks this trend. Looking to move it through the air. 
Finds his man. It's Hudson. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the play. Let's see Russell if it stands. I'm not sure he knew he had the face mask there. Tried to let it go in time, but couldn't. It's a penalty on the defense. To the air. It's Stone. Got his man downfield. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. Well, we see another catch by this guy. This defense is going to need to do a better job of tackling the catch. In coverage, I know they want to slap the ball away, but if you can't do it and force the incompletion, you've got to at least make sure you're able to drag him down to the ground as soon as he catches the ball. From the gun, they'll try the middle. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Last play was a near disaster. Now dealing with second and 13. They run the reverse. And they make the tackle, but the official has tossed his flag. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Amazing how many times an offensive holding penalty will stall a drive. We'll see if the offense can overcome it. From the gun to Gale, looking for room. And a good, solid pickup for the defense cuts him down. Let's see what they've dialed up on third and long from the 22. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. He snares it in the end zone. Touchdown, Mustang! This quarterback really does a nice job seeing the field and reading coverage. And when you go empty and you spread the defense out, it's easier to see what the defense is doing. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And after that extra point, we have a tie ball game in the third quarter. And we're all square as he's set to kick it away. Oh, he's going to take a chance and bring it out. Stopped at the 17, and he's probably second-guessing that return. The Louisville offense is headed back out on the field. The sledding has been tough. Scores have been at a premium, Jesse, and every possession seems like it could switch the momentum of the game. Yeah, Reese, for this offense, it just feels like they just haven't been as physical. And for this offensive coordinator, David, he's having to go deep into the playbook just to try to generate a first down. Well, and the good thing is there's not a ton of game pressure because the other side's not scoring either. But if you can find that one thing that... Get that one positive play, and then maybe you get those juices going and something can start to build into traffic it's picked off and they'll close in on him after a good return on the interception how do you not get excited and out of your seat when you see the big boys making the little boys play listen i know you dbs can do all that running around stuff and catch the football i can too i just do it in a sexier bigger body yes please great spot to start this drive for the offense Wide out in motion. Touch pass on the jet sweep. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards maybe, second and seven. Win with the running game on first down, now back at it. Touch pass on the jet sweep. Got a lot of running room. Touchdown, SMU! And with that one, they jump on top here in the second half. Number nine. When that receiver got free, it was all over. And it's so nice to have a receiver like this as a quarterback because you had my stats. I like those long touchdown passes where I just threw it really short, and he did the rest of the work. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. They wasted no time on that drive. Two plays, touchdown just like that. He'll return it. Gets it across the 20 to the 21, and not quite what he would have picked up just taking the touchback. 
Louisville has it back in the offense, coming out ready to attack. They're going to throw it to start the drive. And he fired a bullet in, but it's incomplete. After the misfire, now on second down. Looking downfield, it's shot. And he really needed to hold on to that one, but it was not loose, and third down is coming. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Find his big tight end. And the Cardinals will call on their punt team. A high kick. Let's see if he can pin him back deep in their own end. And the punt team gets down there and gets the return man on the ground. So we'll see this offense make its way out to start the drive. They'll give it to the back. They'll rip off eight on that play in second and two. After the good pickup on first down, let's see if they keep it on the ground. He's looking for a man on second down. With the catch, it's Smith. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. They've got it at the 36. It's a first and 10. They'll ride the running back and leave it with it. I never know if it's grammatically correct to say a team is being out physical. You hear it a lot in football, though. That's happening in this game. They are just not getting the push they need all game long up front to have any success when we decide to run him. He's really close to that first down marker, but they stop him just a bit short. On third and short, they'll try to pick it up on the ground here. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. On fourth down, trying to keep the drive alive with the run here. They stop him short of the marker, and they'll turn it over on downs. Oh, it's a reverse. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. Back to pass. It's shut. Fires to the right. It's caught downfield. Really good job to pick up a chunk of yardage and get it out to the 39-yard line. Quarterback changing the plays at the line. That one did not go well. Tackled in the backfield for a loss of six. This offense has a second down play. He's looking to throw. Finds his target down the middle. Makes a grab and he's dragged down. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. He's going to let one fly down the middle. And they can't hook up on the big play, and that brings up a fourth down. The Cardinals will bring the punt team onto the field. Trying to play a little field position with that high, high punt. Might have thought he'd want to try to pick up a few yards there, but he's content with making the fair catch right around the 35-yard line. From the gun, the ground game. A confident, tough, efficient run gets it up to the 44. Nine-yard pickup on first down, and now they can take a shot on second and short. He'll run it again. And they'll move the chains and get it to the 47-yard line. A first and ten for this offense. And that's a first down for the offense. Out of the gun, the inside handoff, looking for a crease. Good pick up there. They'll move the chains, and they're set up at the 41. And the Mustangs getting set on first and ten. He's going to pass. Complete to the left. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. The Mustangs will hustle to the line. From the red zone, looking for a man. He's got it. Huge game before he goes out of bounds, and now they've got it first and goal. He goes out of bounds. That's the end of the period, and SMU has the lead. And as we switch ends of the field, let's take a quick look at the national rankings.
you're dealing with a deficit like this, it's all about somebody stepping up to make a play, and you might as well start here in the fourth quarter. Pushes ahead. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Can the defense stop them again on second and goal? He's going to the right, looking for a path to the end zone. That one did not go well. Tackled in the backfield for a loss of six. On third and goal, they'll throw it. And it's incomplete as he tried to thread that needle to the back corner of the end zone. So here we are on fourth down, and this field goal kicker is going to face all the pressure in the world. And it's no good. And the margin is still seven after the miss, guys. But the Louisville offense is headed back out on the field. That last drive fizzled out, Jesse. They had to punt it. Yeah, they did. And, David, they're just going to have to do a better job this time around erasing the mental mistakes. And just trying to solve the defensive riddle, understanding what they're trying to do to you and attack them. Quickly out to the tight end. And that corner came in hot despite knowing that he was giving up some size. Can't get him to the ground. And they drag him down, but not before he picks up the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Dropping back, it's shut. It's complete on the right side. They'll get him down, but not before he crosses the 50. He's down to the 49. One running back in the backfield, and he has it. Nice move there. And he does a really nice job finding open space and making a good game before the stop is made. The give to the back. Runs through a tackle. And the Cardinals will keep this drive going. Big drive for this offense late, trying to tie the game. They piece together a couple of first downs, and here they come again. Throws to the wideout. He's got it. And he makes a completion there, set up and in business at the 20. The Cardinals have moved it inside the 20. He'll do it himself. They make the stop, but there is a flag on the field. We'll see what that's all about. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. Offense getting set for first down. Here's a quick throw out to the left. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down mark. He'll keep it himself. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. They want to continue this long drive. Night play coming. It's third and five. From the gun, wants to pass. Unleashes to the end zone. It falls incomplete. He was trying to find his man for six. And here we go, down a score. They'll go for it on fourth down. Feeling some heat. And they got him. A sack denies the try to convert on fourth down. Well, I love the play call by the defense there on fourth down. They were expecting pass, and they didn't decide to just lay back and play zone coverage. They were going to dial up the pressure. They bring the blitz, and they just overwhelmed the offensive line and anyone else trying to protect that quarterback. He had no shot. The SMU offense is headed back onto the field. They'll put this one in play for a snap of the drive from the 25. They'll leave it with him. Finds that crease, and he's got four out to the 29. Solid pickup of four on first down at second and six. They'll keep it on the ground. And works it to the 40-yard line. That'll be a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Caught in the backfield, it's Smith. And good coverage by the defense, just a short game. Stuck with a running game on first down, now here they come again. From the gun, running back gets the give. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Third and 
short from the 44, and we might know if they plan to go for it on fourth down by what they call here. And it's intercepted. A huge fourth quarter play for this defense. Not a lot of room on the return, but he'd already gotten the most important thing, the ball, and they have it at the 46. Louisville has it back in the offense, coming out ready to attack. They've got it back after that last drive stalled out, and they were stopped on fourth down, David. Yeah, and they put a little bit of a drive together, but, Jesse, they stalled on the other side of the field, and they got to find a way to keep that momentum going as they get closer to the end zone. I agree. I, I do like their mindset, though, and I think they need to continue being aggressive moving forward in this game. And here comes the offense on second down. Trying play action. Looking left. Can't make the grab quarterback. Just missed him a little bit. The crowd is going to tell you the result of this when they are into it on this huge third and three. And he's tripped up, but not before picking up the first down. And the Cardinals have their offense in high gear. Caught behind the line. It's Bell. They'll finally put the brakes on him at the three. A big throw, catch and run on that one. And this is the chance for this offense. A first and goal, fourth quarter, trying to tie the game up. He works his way ever closer, all the way down to the one-yard line. We've reached the two-minute warning, and the defense needs to come up with a stop to close this thing out. And they will score! Touchdown, Cardinals! Great job executing. The offense did what they needed to do. You got somewhat of a decision here. Do you want to kick it, tie it up? I think you do with this time frame. You know, one to two minutes left in the fourth quarter. You probably want to do that, but you could push the envelope. You could go for two and try to take the lead. He'll try to tack on one more. And the extra point was good, and we are all tied up in the fourth. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. Arkansas is just getting blown off the field right now, and it may continue to get worse before it gets better, if it gets better. What a shocker today in Fayetteville. They're trailing by 17 to Tennessee. For now, it's back to you fellas, but of course, if anything changes, you'll see it right here. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. Back to throw, it's Stone. Complete downfield. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. He's looking to throw it. Grabbed in the middle, it's Moore. You're seeing a lot of confidence out of this quarterback now. Three for three on this two-minute drive. He understands that he needs to step up if his team's going to win this game. He's playing his best football right now. Oh, so close to paying off the tip drill. He had it in his hands, but it falls incomplete. They keep attacking through the air. He looks that one in nicely. Timeout on the field, and everybody want to make sure they're organized as we come down the gut of the game. Going up top on first down. Using the back as a receiver on the screen. Tackled immediately after the catch. They'll hurry to the line with the clock still running. On second down, wants to throw it. Incomplete. And he threw that one up for grabs and into traffic. Fortunate to get it back. It would be nice to pick up a few yards on third down because from here, it's a 57-yard attempt. Quick timeout by the defense there, trying to make sure everyone has the same call. 
Well, offensively, they knew they were going to have some matchups they could take advantage of in this one. And all of a sudden, this quarterback has now over 300 yards passing in the game. Defensively, David, he has got them on their heels. And he's been showing you a little bit of everything. He can throw it all over the field to all different receivers, to his tight ends, to his running backs. Really has the ability to spread it around. And now over 300 yards. Still some time left, and he can put up even bigger numbers. And, heck, go chase some awards, man. Get some postseason awards. Get an All-American. Just put up a day. The defense burns their third and final timeout of the half. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. And now on fourth down, they will put it on the shoulders of the kicker to save them with his foot. It's good. They have taken the lead in the final seconds, guys, and the celebration has erupted on the sideline. You can't say enough about this kid's poise. You're playing on the road. The crowd's going crazy, willing you to miss this kick, but he stayed dialed in. Puts it through the upright, David, to give his team the lead here late. It's crazy because it's nerve-wracking. You put your body on the line for so long, and then it comes down to a kick. And he has to be clutched in a hostile environment, and he comes through for his squad. Grime inside the 10. Here he comes. They make the stop. The coverage team up to the challenge as they put a stop to the return and an end to the game. It has been said that the obstacle is the way, and this obstacle is now back-to-back -back losses. Back-to-back hills. -back um, it's not the end of the world, though. I still think there's time for this team to figure out what they're going to do, how they're going to finish the season strong. It's not over yet. Two bad weeks. Flush it down the toilet. Refocus the mechanism. We're ready to rock and roll next week. It just needs to be about finding a way to win a game right now. In all likelihood, 99.9% .9 chance the college football playoff now is not a possibility anymore. That's okay. Let's worry about winning a game. Let's go back. Let's watch the film. Let's get back to being who we are so we can get this ship right. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.